Across Europe, lockdowns are beginning to lift. But in the UK, the country with the highest number of deaths in Europe, the government is moving more slowly. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has announced some changes to lockdown rules starting this week, but the guidance is causing confusion. Instead of the stay-at-home message of the past few weeks, those who cannot work from home are now being encouraged to go to work. But how workplaces should adapt to the reality of COVID-19 and how public transport should be used is subject to guidance not yet made public. When pressed in Parliament, Johnson urged people to apply common sense when interpreting the regulations. Mr Speaker, there are lots of questions, but so far precious few answers. The country does need clarity on this and people need reassurance above all else. They need it in the next 48 hours. So can the Prime Minister now uh, please provide that uh, clarity? Everybody understands what we are trying to do together. And that is, that is working together as a country to obey the social distancing rules, which everybody understands, and I think what the British people understand, are that this is the moment for the whole country to come together and to obey those rules and to apply their common sense in the application of those rules. And I have huge admiration for the way that the police have uh, enforced them so far, and I know that the British public is going to continue to help uh, the police and everybody uh, to enforce those rules, to get our reproduction rate down, to get this disease uh, even further under control by continuing to apply good, solid British common sense. It's worked throughout phase one, and I've no doubt that it's going to work in the second phase of the disease as well, of, of the fight against the disease as well. Well, let's talk to our reporter, Victoria Smith, who joins us from London now. Uh, Victoria, is the solid British common sense in short supply? Because there's been a chorus of disapproval over the new guidelines announced by uh, Boris Johnson. So uh, did he make this government's position any clearer in the House of Commons today? Well, I think he tried to, Tokes. He certainly made it a little bit clearer about some issues about when guidelines, for example, would go in as to when it's uh, safe to return to work and safe to go back on public transport. Uh, that, he said, would be tonight and tomorrow. The trouble is that everybody here in the nation watched Boris Johnson last night uh, telling us that this week we could go back to work if we could, if it was safe to. And people assumed he meant by that this morning. So the commuter routes were packed. There were no social guidelines uh, in place. There were no social distancing guidelines uh, being followed. Um, that may not be a lack of common sense. That may just be a case of bad timing or a lack of clarity on the government's part. Wednesday is the day when we are supposed to return to work if we can't work from home. And by that, that means people in certain professions such as a manufacturing, food production, scientists working in research labs, for example. These are the people that, uh, that the country wants to get back to work to try and get the industry back on its feet to some extent, although that's a long way off, of course. So this is all part of a three-step plan. So after this week, we're looking at the 1st of June, when nursery schools, when primary schools may start to have a staggered return. That has attracted some confusion and criticism too, uh, from teaching unions who say that staff aren't properly protected in terms of kit to go back to school yet, and they won't be by the 1st of June, and some secondary schools who are disappointed that their students who face important exams next year are not on the list to go back at the moment. Uh, in July, the 4th of the July, the, the government hopes that uh, with some social distancing in place, some businesses can resume, businesses such as um, cinemas, some hospitality industries, salons and churches even. But all this depends on that crucial R number, that rate of infection number not going back up again. And if it does, if things don't go to plan, these lockdown restrictions could go back into place. And for the elderly and for the vulnerable, there's no change. Those lockdown restrictions stay as they are at the moment. Victoria, was Boris Smith uh, challenged over what seems to be a growing divide between Westminster and the uh, devolved assemblies or parliaments? I'm thinking of Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland, of course, uh, because they're all sticking to this stay-at-home message, aren't they? 
Very much so, Tokes. They're sticking to stay at home. Boris Johnson last night looked as if he was changing the slogan for England to stay alert. He's now, he's rode back a bit on that this afternoon in the Commons. He's now been saying, stay at home if you can. I think he's keen to breach this seeming divide between the four nations. He would like some unity, but he himself is the one who's made the changes for England. And he's been called on that by Scotland's First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, who says he's, he's not been clear enough about who these new uh, rules and uh, at who this new advice is aimed at, whether it's aimed at England or the UK as a whole. Of course, in Scotland, where the rate of infection is still rising, stay at home is still very much the message as it is in Wales and Northern Ireland. And another issue here is this advice for people in England that they can now drive to beauty spots and exercise as much as they like. But there's a border issue. They're not really being allowed to do that if it means crossing the border into Wales or Scotland. And that, of course, is difficult to police. In fact, uh, owners of beauty spots and people who work there are very worried that there will be a horde of people turning up and potentially spreading the virus again.